Hi everyone, I'm Leah and today I'll show you how I transformed this small end table. I purchased this table at a local estate sale for $25 and it definitely needed a lot of TLC. I repaired the leg and the top of the table with the peeling veneer with a wood filler hardener product. Since we don't have to sand down our piece before we apply the one step paint, it is so important to have a clean surface. So I use Clean Slate by Amy Howard, which will remove any waxes, dirt, and grease on your surface before you paint. So my cat wanted to really get involved in this process. So as I'm applying my first coat, he jumps up on the top, which is fine because as it dried, I did see a section of the top that had some more bubbling veneer that bothered me, so I did repair that. Once I applied that second coat of French Blue on my table, I wanted some more depth and interest, so I used a wash effect with a custom blend Amy Howard mix of paints that I used. I would use my spray bottle, which is fine mist. I got that on Amazon. I can include that link down below. And I used a little sponge, or you can use a cloth or a paintbrush, and I just dabbed on some more interest, some more watered down paint, if you will, as a glaze or a wash to certain parts of the table. I wanted some areas a little darker, some a little lighter, just for some more depth. I wanted something a little extra on the front of my furniture, so I used the Flower Burst Clear Stamps by a Maker Studio to add some artwork to the front. So I used a small sponge and added Baja Spuff to the stamp so it was nice and even. You don't really want to brush it on, you want to use some kind of sponge application. And then you just apply some pressure and apply them where you want. These are amazing. You can use them for so many different purposes and they're reusable. You just wash them with some mild soap and warm water and you are good to go. I felt like the table needed one more element, so I decided to add some dry brushing in Baja's Buff White by Amy Howard. When you dry brush, you barely need 
any paint on your brush. You want to add a little bit on the tip and sides of your brush and in quick light movements you want to stroke it on where you want. This adds a lot of texture and dimension.